so precious. This was easy. I'm gonna have to make copies. Oh, these are just the words I hear that I've got to hear talk of. I don't know these are the words that we saw in there. And this one, you play this one. What's up? This is the Got a Bible. Bible taco. This is actually a Bible. That's not Jesus and stuff in here. See? Bible. Bible. You have a Bible. Okay. I want to get a whole this. Okay. Oh man, I can't click the ground outside to try it.
it shows over here, so. Right now. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks.
Oh, come on. That's okay, I can always move back down. I don't think it's a good idea. I put it here. Oh. How do you put a snake in? Return the snake to their cages, walk to them. Dark one, right? No, why would I want a snake as a pet?
water. I actually don't know why I said that. Alright, here we go. Okay. Um, less than two thousand one drivers
but I can't move so. Hi everyone, my name is Judah, and I live in Seoul, South Korea. I was only four years old when I learned that something was very wrong with my mom. Other kids always hug and kiss their parents. Why can't we do that, mommy? Ugh, don't call me that. She turned to walk away, and I had to take my shot. I ran to her and grabbed her in a tight hug. Just go like this, mommy. It's easy. She literally ran away from me. Don't touch me. I'm wearing Chanel. She didn't really want anything to do with me. She used maids, butlers, and money to keep me away from her my whole life. At first, I thought something was wrong with me. But my cousin, Hari, totally disagreed. Judah, you're my best friend in the whole world because you are perfect. Your mom is just a witch. I was so jealous. Hari's parents were amazing. Even though they were really poor and lived all the way in America, they tried to visit every other year they video called me all the time, and I loved them. One day, Hari called me with some amazing news. My dad's company just blew up overnight. We're finally gonna be rich. That's amazing. What's more amazing is that I can afford tickets to see you. Ask that witch if I can stay over. I went out to talk to mom, but she was sitting there with some strange men. Judah, here you are. Come meet the boy I want you to date. He what? He owns diamond mines. Diamonds! You can date him now and get married after college. No way! Have you gone insane? Don't you dare insult me in front of everyone. Don't you dare try to ruin my life! Hadi is right. You're a witch! Her guests laughed and she turned red. You ungrateful little... Go to your room! I did go to my room. 
I also called up Hadi and made my first and best evil plan. I can't take it anymore. I'm running away from home. Now that your parents are rich, can I live with you? <laughs> if they say no, I'll hide you in my room. Get over here. Thankfully, aunt and uncle loved the idea and welcomed me there with open arms. They didn't even tell my mom and I could escape without any drama. I finally got away from my crazy mother. And the best part? I was gonna live with my best friend. Hadi and I literally jumped and screamed the entire first night. On my second night, reality hit me. I was in a new country. I didn't know the language and I was gonna start at a new school. Yikes. What if everyone hates me? What if they think I look weird? They won't. I'll translate everything for you. And I'll do your hair and makeup. She did my makeup for practice and it made me want to cry. She literally painted my face and used tape to pull my skin back. She even put tape on my eyes so I had a crease. See? All we need to do is dye your hair blonde, like me, and you'll fit right in. I stopped her. I had gotten away from mom to be myself and love myself. I was gonna be fine in my own skin. Turns out, I was more than fine. I walked into school for my first day and a boy stopped me in my tracks. Whoa, I've never seen any girl like you. You're beautiful. <laughs> he thinks you're pretty. Oh my God. Then the boy got down on one knee and asked me out on a date. He's asking you out, but you just got here. You don't need to pick the first guy in line. We ran away before we screamed with excitement. I'd never been asked out like that before. The first day was already fun, but only because Hadi was by my side. Without her, everything was suddenly impossible. I didn't understand a word anyone was saying. One boy was trying to warn me about a spider on my shirt, and I didn't get it until it crawled on my face. Ugh! I didn't even know how to ask the teacher if I could go to the bathroom. I just walked out of class silently and she started yelling at me. I was almost in tears before someone told her I couldn't understand her. One day, Hadi was auditioning for the cheerleading squad, so I went with her for support. We were dancing together for practice when suddenly the cheer squad walked up to us. Wow, you're an amazing dancer. Who are you? Hadi introduced me and the girl asked me to join the cheer squad. But what about the auditions? <laughs> no need for those. We like Judah. Tell her to join us. Obviously, I turned them down right away. I wasn't gonna snatch Hadi's place. She pretended it didn't bother her, but I know that it did. At home, aunt and uncle were trying way too hard to be nice to me. They asked me endless questions and they kept buying me over-the-top gifts. Uncle even bought me a car. You gave Judah a car before me? We can get you a car too, sweetie. You should have thought of me first. Hadi stormed away and locked herself in her room. I had to slip like 50 apology notes under her door to get her to come out. They just feel bad for me because of my terrible mom. Come on, don't be upset. She came around and I thought things would get better until one day when Derek, the cutest guy in school, walked up to us at lunch. Oh my God, I have such a huge crush on Derek. Have you told him that? I dropped major hints the last time we were in class. Maybe he's finally gonna ask me out. We squealed in delight till he came with an earshot. Then Derek walked right past Hadi and stood in front of me. Wow, you're really cute. I've never seen you here before. Are you new? I had no idea what he said, but Hadi turned white as a ghost. Derek started saying more things I couldn't understand, and then he just patted my head and left. What was that? How old is your brain? Playing wordscapes just 10 minutes a day sharpens your mind. And as you get old, he, he asked me out on a date. You? But I feel like he was talking to me. He was just being shy. He said he wants to take me out to dinner. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I jumped, but Hadi didn't join me. In fact, she started acting so weird. She refused to sit with me at lunch anymore and she started walking home from school alone. When she went out for a date with Derek, she told some random girl at school all about it instead of me. I barged into their conversation and pulled her away. What's wrong with you? Why are you ignoring me? Why can't we have our separate lives? Hadi, you're my best friend. I want to be with you. So I can keep being your translator all the time? I love you. But Judah, I need some space from you right now. Just be on your own. Fine. 
I don't need you either. Just watch me. I joined online classes for English and started taking a book of translations with me everywhere. I was going to learn this language and yell at Hottie in English for being such a jerk. I got better fast. English wasn't as hard as it looked. I could even hold decent conversations on my own and I made a few friends. We were in the cafeteria one day when Derek walked up to me. He had flowers in his hands and his friend from the band was playing the flute. What? Judah, I know you didn't want to go out with me then, but I can't stop thinking about you. Will you give me a chance? What are you talking about? You wanted to go out with me? I asked you out that day, remember? Hadi said you didn't want to go, so she came on our date instead. She what? I stared at Hadi with my jaw loose. She was already in tears. Okay, fine. Derek asked you out, not me. Happy? I was jealous, so I lied and I went to see him. Are you serious? You're such a freak. What's wrong with you? Hey, don't talk to her like that. We missed our date because of this pathetic loser. <clears throat> Jeez, how desperate can you get? I just lost it. I flew forward and punched Derek right in the face. It was a total blur and suddenly I was at the principal's office. Derek had an ice pack on his bleeding nose and my aunt and uncle were getting screamed at. I got suspended from school for a whole week. Hadi and I had the biggest fight ever at home. I would never date someone you had a crush on. How could you be so mean to me over some stupid boy? It's not about the boy. Ever since you came here, you've just taken over. My friends, the cheer squad, the guy I like. You're getting everything. Even my own parents like you better than me. Hadi, don't say that. You're sisters. We're cousins. I'm your daughter, but all you want to do is talk to Judah and buy her crazy presents when I never got treated that way. We're just trying to make up for past mistakes. What mistakes? That was when my aunt told us her final secret. Hadi and I were non-identical twins. They were my parents. I sat there in shock while my aunt explained how poor they were when we were born and how they had to give me away to her rich sister. Why did you keep Hadi? Why not me? You were having a lot of medical issues as a baby. We couldn't manage the bills. I thought my sister would take better care of you. I see. I thought I had one mother who didn't want me. Turns out I had three parents and none of them wanted me. Judah, it's not like that. I got up and ran to my room. I started packing my things through a haze of tears. Judah, no, please don't leave. I'm, I'm so sorry. You abandoned me with a monster. You waited 17 years to tell me the truth. Don't pretend you care. I stormed out and didn't look back once. I was done trusting my family. My heart was broken. I sold the car uncle gave me and used the money to rent an apartment. I got a job and focused on my studies. I turned my heart to stone. So when Hadi tried to apologize to me a hundred times, she always failed. I did miss her a lot, especially during the special moments of my life, when I got into the college of my choice, when I got my first job, on the day of my wedding, I almost called her twice. Hadi had become a huge influencer with millions of followers. She was only a DM away, but I felt too guilty for not making up earlier. My husband and I went hiking in a national park for our honeymoon when suddenly a crazy storm hit us and I got separated from the hiking group. I shouted till I lost my voice, but no one heard me. I walked and walked until I realized I was just moving in circles. I'm not giving up. You can't have me, Forrest. I was lost in that jungle for three days and three nights. I hid in caves when it rained, and I only survived because of the water and food in my backpack. On the third night, I was about to go to sleep when I suddenly heard people shouting my name. Thank God. I raced out of my cave to see hundreds of people walking in the forest with torches, and the person who was running towards me, screaming her head off, was Hadi. No way. Hadi? I found you. I found you. Hadi and I hugged each other so hard we fell to the ground. I'm so happy you're okay. Oh, thank God. How are you here? Who else was going to find you? My followers work way faster than the police. I burst into tears and hugged my sister tight. Hadi, I don't know what I would have done without you. I'm so sorry. Don't you dare say sorry to me. You were the one who got left with that witch. I was all you had, and I was so terrible to you. 
Just forget everything that's happened before this. Today, you saved my life, and I'll love you forever for it. I love you too. Oh, I've missed you so much. Just then, Mom saw me, and she broke down, crying. Judah, you're safe. I thought I'd lost you forever. I'm so sorry, Judah. I'm sorry I gave you away, my baby girl. I just thought I couldn't take care of you. I loved you too much, and if something happened to you just because I couldn't afford the medical care, I would have... I would have... You did your best, Mom. I know you did. Didn't you just say Mom? Yes, Mom. Oh my god. My mom hugged me again, and Dad joined in seconds later. We cried and laughed together, and my family was finally whole. How to sound more confident in your writing. One, remove hedging language and be direct. For example, instead of saying, I might be able to find a way to make So cold. Oh. 
I'll buy a new one. Yeah. I'll buy a new one. 